back for another guide. This is a request from another player on V4. So we're just going to dive right into it. That way, hopefully, it's not too long. So this guide is, as the title says, a guide to Mythic Soulstones on Nexon V4. You can play this on both mobile and PC. Now, this is my character. Your soul stones are equipped to your gear from rare uh, higher. Let's see, there we go. That's an open soul stone slot right there. I do not have one equipped on this piece because this is not the piece I used. However, that is what a empty soul stone looks like. You can put all kinds of different soul stones in there. You start out with your common soul stone, and they are very easy to get. And pretty much, you just upgrade your soul stones, duh, to get higher ones, which of course will give you more stats, higher stats. Uh, we'll start down here and kind of just go through the basic soul stones. I'm not going to go through all of them. You'll unlock them as you go through the story and everything. I'm just going to give you some stats on them, uh, specifically how to upgrade them and what you will need. So I'm just going to use a will soul stone here. As you see, it's got defense and evade, so they all have different stats. Nope, I don't want to do that. There we go. Like the Aegis, Aegis, I think, I don't know. It has got defense and parry. Now, if you notice here, it has two different uh, rarities. You've got rare, and then you've got epic. When you upgrade from a lower power to a higher one, from rare to epic, this level will reset back to level one, like these. However, even with that reset, this number here is not your max under epic. Whatever number it is being transformed into, that is your base stat. So if I get this to epic, as a rare right now maxed out, it's got 359 defense. As a base epic at level one, it will have 482. So even if you can't upgrade past like one, even if you can't upgrade past level one, if you can get to a higher rarity, do it at at all costs, pretty much. So this is how it works. You start with a will soul stone. You actually need two of these. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how that's done. I've got a whole bunch of freaking chest of these right here. So we're just going to use all eight because why not? Go back to our wheel, and this is a, a quick way to get to your soul stones. You just click a soul stone here, click growth, it'll bring you to your soul stone tab. If you don't want to do that, or if you don't have any soul stones in your inventory, you can go up here to your options. And right here, this nice little sucker right here, soul stones. You've got equip. This gives you all of the gear that you own. If I were to remove one, like that, then it would have this open slot with this little plus sign. You just click that, add that, equip it, boom, there you go. And as you can see, soul stones add a lot of CP, and this one isn't even maxed, and it's still 9,000 freaking CP. So, if you want some more CP and some bragging rights, upgrade those soul stones. So we're gonna go over here to growth. You've got equipped soul stones. This will tell you which ones you currently have on your character, not in your bag, but on your character, that are upgradable. We don't really want that. We want owned because we want to upgrade these. Now, if you have a whole lot of soul stones, like, say, all of these small suckers, I may not want to have to click every single one of them and click the soul shards and level up and do all of this. That's just a waste of time. You can go right up here next to grow to upgrade all. And then you have all these. And then what you can do is go down here and click bulk register. And it will register as many soul stones as you can actually fully upgrade. So like here, I've got 116,000 soul stones plus almost 20,000 fine. If you have enough materials, that, that is the key factor. You also have to have enough materials and you select whatever materials you want to use. And obviously, as you can see here, it will tell you how many materials of each you've selected that you will use. So very very handy this number right here will tell you your potential number that you can make and how many you have selected so if we deselect this 
I'm sorry, I had the backwards. This is how many you have, essentially, and the right one is how many you're trying to make, how many upgrades you're trying to do. If you notice, when I click this, now we have five left, selected one. When these numbers match, that's your max potential. However, you will also notice, now I've selected two, says I will make two. I've got four left. It also takes two of these common to make one fine, by the way. When I select this third one, now that we're exactly half on the common, this is only on the common, the rest are different. If you notice, these numbers are the same, three out of three. Okay, I can make three uh, fine soul stones right now. I know it says fine upgrade over here. These are not fine. These are common upgrading up to fine. But if you click another one, now that number is red. You do not have enough soul stones here to make how many upgrades you're trying to make on the right. As you see, I've got four up here. I'm trying to make four upgrades. I need two of these to make one upgrade. That means I would have to have a total of eight, and I don't. I've only got six. So I would have to have, since I've selected four, I would have to have four down here unselected to be able to make these four. I don't have that. So if I deselect one, now that number is no longer red, that means I am at the maximum upgrades I can make with what I have in store. Here it tells you how many soul shards you're going to use, which is 156. Each of these, each upgrade from common to fine uses 52 regular soul shards. It's not a whole lot. But once you get to the higher ones, it, it will be. So we're going to make three real quick. 45,000 gold. Boom. Three fines. Now, when you're upgrading from lower levels to higher levels, you're pretty much not going to have a risk of them breaking. However, there is a chance that these upgrades will break. And I will, once I get into the ones that might actually break, I'll do those by hand to show you what happens. But they do have a chance of actually breaking, as in not upgrading, and you will lose whatever resources you've used in trying to upgrade it. You will not use the ones you lose the ones you're trying to upgrade. So like these two, since I'm trying to upgrade these two, if they broke going to, an, to a uh, rare, I have to use these unselected one material to upgrade these. I would lose... These, uh, whatever unselected ones I'm using to upgrade, I would lose those. But I would not use the ones I'm actually, we're just going to do this. This might still be easier. There we go. Now also to go to a rare, each of these require 112 soul shards to upgrade one of these uh, to max. Now in order to upgrade one rarity to the next, you have to have one of them max level. That's what under this upgrade all, that's what this is doing. It is leveling up. You see this level 20? If you notice, when I click this level 1, it uses 112 soul shards. But when I click the level 20, it's using 0. Because in order to upgrade, you have to have a soul gem or a soul stone to max level of its rarity. So fines will only go up to level 20. He's level 20 max. Now I can use material to upgrade him with. We're going to go back over here. I click that. Here is your upgrade material for the fines, I think, uh, up to epic. Yeah, uh, so from common to fine, fine to com uh, rare, and rare to epic uses these, if I remember correctly. This little switch arrow, sometimes you'll have bound, which is bound specifically to this account. You cannot sell them. And then you'll have these. I don't know, remember exactly where all you get these. It says acquired by eliminating, eliminating elite or nain monsters. Same thing here. Obviously, I've got a crap ton of them, so I don't have to worry about it. But when you're beginning, lots of times you'll run out of these. Buy these from the store. Lots of times you can get these from the store with gold. So yeah, so we need from fine to rare we need two materials now under growth as you saw upgrade all is a little bit different when we select these it's automatically going to use what we have back here to upgrade whichever one we select that is not the same under growth whichever one you're trying to upgrade you have to select manually the upgrade material you want to use to upgrade this one 
So we're going to use these two unleveled level one finds to try to upgrade this one max level, level 20 fine to a level one rare. We'll do a 4,000 gold upgrade. Go and boom. Made it. Yes, it will. Special for this group. Don't want to do that. Now, as you see, this is level one. Defense 207. Go back over here. We'll go ahead and upgrade this sucker. Now, if you remember what I said about upgrading to the next level. Defense 146, 207. We'll select two more upgrade. Upgrade that these are pretty much guaranteed to go. So at level one, this is the base stats versus the max stats of the maxed fine. So I'll take that out. Now we do not have enough of these. As you can see, there are no more fines over here. We do not have enough fines to create another rare. We have to have three fines total, one level 20 and then just two other trash ones to upgrade one maxed. We don't have any more. We only have one, so we can't do that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and look at that. You may be wondering what these are. These are basically free upgrade materials. You get these from farming uh, different areas. I, I think the most luck I've had with these is actually the uh, merchants over here in the abyss. Come on, there we go. Girl's Nightmare, I get a lot of the fine upgrade ones, but Merchant's Wish 1 and 2. As you see here, this is what I'm talking about, Dark Soul Stone. Used to upgrade rare soul stones in place of material. So instead of you having to go through all that fine stuff and having to use all of these and using a bunch of commons to make these and then a bunch of these to make the stupid rares, you just go and you farm for those rare materials. And then you don't have to use any other soul stones. You just have to have these normal ones. Because you cannot create an actual soul stone with these. You can only use these to upgrade into an epic. So as you can see here, maxed uh, rare right now is 359. If we go to an epic, it'll be 482. So we're going to use two of these. And, oh look, it went. That's nice. I actually want it to break. Go away. So we're going to do another one. Hopefully this breaks. Nope, that didn't break either. I mean, that's fine. Oh yeah, and by the way, as you go up in rarity, it will cost considerably more soul shards to upgrade each soul stone to max. That one was like 300 something. Please break. You could break a lot. Break. There we go. You see that red? That's a break. And if you notice, it's still level 30, still a rare, still the same stats. So it didn't do shit. It, it, it didn't want to do anything. And there we go. Now it went up, and now our stats are higher, even as base level 1. So now I don't want to keep doing these by hand now that you've seen it break. We're just going to go to Epic. And if you notice, I'm trying to... Uh, seems it's knocking my thing out, but there we go. So there we go, six out of six. That's the most we can make. And not a single one of them went. All three of these broke. If you notice it said all the resources broke or whatever. That means for all these attempts, for those three attempts, not one of those three went. So I could technically upgrade these, but lots of times it won't let you actually upgrade using maxed, which sucks, but whatever. Not that you really want to. You probably want to just hold those anyways. So there we go. Now we have all these. Now we go over here to our epic. To upgrade an epic, come on, let's go. There we go. Costs 968 soul shards to max out an epic to level 40. So rares are level 30, finds are level 20, commons are level 10, epics are level 40, legendary are level 50, mythic is level 60. Now we have a level 40. I don't want to waste my soul shards on, the, on this one since I'm not going to use it. So we're just going to grab our level 40 and if you notice 
you have this nice purple one. It's very beautiful. They're also, they were a lot harder to get. Now they're fairly common. I mean, I've got freaking 93 of them. But these are now used to go to legendary. So you will have to use these shining purifying water to take an epic to a legendary. These break a lot. So if you go through like five or more before you get one to go, don't be too upset. It happens a lot. So again, you'll need two. If you notice, it does have two down here. That's how many you'll need. So we'll get two level ones. Upgrade that, and let's see if it breaks. Oh my gosh, it did not break. Keep getting stronger. There we go. So we just popped that one up. Oh wait, I don't want to do that. We're not on that step yet. Let's try another one. Let's see if we can break this one. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never had to go back to back like that. Okay, so... Obviously, I had some good luck with that. Now, these were epic. These are legendary. Here is a maxed legendary that we're going to try to get to mythic. Actually, I don't want to get that one to mythic, but I'm going to use it. These are what you use to go to mythic, these blessed purifying waters. Now, these are just as hard to get as these shining ones used to be. But you can still buy them from the store. I think about the only place you can get them from is the store. You can't, you're supposed to be able to farm them from some of the abyss. Like if you notice here, it says the Blessed Purifying Water. I don't know anyone that's actually gotten one from the Merchant's Wish. Maybe, like, some people have gotten some from Beast Void. But I haven't really heard of it. It's just way easier to go to the shop. And somewhere in here is a pack for them. I think that was one right there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Blessed purifying there you go you get two for that one and there's a couple other packs you can do that with that i've seen so here we go it uses one of these and two soul stones to upgrade you can also get let me go here hold on a second i don't know who's calling me we're not doing that okay you can also go here and just as with the rares, you had all those special upgrade materials, you can also get those same upgrade materials for Epic and Legendary. They'll look just like this. The Legendary are red, I believe. And the Epics are also red. The rares are blue. But right now, we're just going to upgrade or try to upgrade a Legendary to Mythic. This is how many Soul Shards you will need to max out a Legendary to a level... Uh, 50 but since we already have one and since they break so much we're not going to do that actually this is what I want to equip we're going to do one on my belt so we're going to select these two and it costs a million gold to try to upgrade to a mythic Let's see what happens and a break that was understandable let's do another one maybe this one will go maybe not nope did not go so we did not get a mythic that's okay. Because I have some mythic to show you right here. This is a level 1 mythic. Now if you notice, this is your upgrade material. It's these dark soul shards. You can only get these from Beast Void and the shop as far as I know right now. So yeah, they're a pain in the butt to farm. Pain in the butt to get. They're expensive to get. So pretty much once you get to mythic, unless you're willing to shell out some money or you're really high level and you can farm Beast Void, uh, you're not going to be upgrading your Mythic very much. You're pretty much just going to upgrade to Mythic and probably sit there on your Mythic at level 1 until you get your CP up high enough to go farm. I'm not talking to you yet. I'm sorry. So there you go. That That's your upgrade material. You do the same thing there. Max it out. Boom. I mean, 20 will get you 37. I don't know how many of these you will need to actually max a mythic. Figure that out later. Okay, I'm gonna have to message him. I don't know why he's not leaving me alone. So, that is essentially how to get to mythic. However, uh oh. Apparently I have people chatting. 
What's going on here? Oh, shoot. I am sorry, guys. I did not check my chat. I actually did not expect anyone to be in my chat. I was just trying to run this real quick so I could post it on YouTube for a couple people uh, on V4, actually. Uh, so, hi, everyone. <laughs> I apologize. No, I was not looking at chat. Uh, wow, I feel like an idiot. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, now I feel like an idiot and a huge jerk. No, dude, it, thank you for harassing me. I, I figured by the time you called me a couple times, I was like, okay, that might actually be an issue. Ah, uh, wow, I feel like a total jerk. Even got even got four people viewing. Man, I, th I thank y'all. Like, y'all stuck around even when I was ignoring y'all. Like, y'all stuck around. Holy cow, thank y'all. Uh, I feel like a huge jerk now. Ugh. So, for the people that are going to be on YouTube watching this, don't ignore your chat. If you're doing a live stream, <laughs> freaking pull it up on your phone or something. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Okay. Now I can see my chat, y'all. I have it on my phone. So, now I will actually be able to uh, read what you're saying. Thank you, Captain Chat. I, I would love it if you just lurked forever. Really, that actually really bumped my views up. So, uh, I am sorry, y'all. Uh, uh, I feel like such a jerk. Man. Uh, and now, I, now I got off on the roll I was going. Okay. Whew. I'm sorry. Anyways, so that's how to get to Mythic. Uh, you will actually need a crap ton of common soul stones. I did the math. I checked this like three times. So I'm pretty sure this is fairly accurate. Oh my god, accurate. You need 162. That is without a single break. You need 162 regular common soul stones to get one mythic. One mythic will take 162 soul stones. Uh, the camera will be later. If, if y'all really want a webcam, it will be later. I'm not doing a webcam on this one because I, I, I'm actually just trying to do the guide. Uh, I actually need to shave before I pull out the webcam for the later stream today. So that's going to happen first before I turn the webcam on. But since y'all are asking, I will turn it on on one of the next streams uh, after I shave. Because, yeah, I have not shaved in like a week. Because all I do is go to work and wrench on shit, and I'm the only one around myself. So, yeah, and I don't really go out and do anything. So, yeah, Cam, w Cam will be up later, uh, just not right now. So, anyways, 162 soul stones, common soul stones. Uh, you need two common for one fine. You will need three fine for one rare, three rare for one epic, three epic for one legendary, and three legendary for one mythic. And I'm sure you will need three mythic for whatever else is above that when they release that. So that's where we're at. Uh, it is 52 soul shards per max upgrade on a uh, common, 112 for a fine, 371 for a rare, 968 for a epic, and 1,723 soul shards for a legendary. I do not know how many a mythic takes, so maybe I'll add that in the comments or something on the YouTube video later. Uh, I have had the yellow truck for quite a while, actually. 20, oh shoot, I was 16 when I got it. Um, so eight years ago. So 2003, 2004, I've had it, and yes, it's still broke, though the engine is in the shop. Uh, I actually have, I don't think I have any YouTube videos yet up on it. I've got the content for it, I just haven't edited them, but I do have some videos of my truck and stuff on my TikTok. Uh, I don't think I actually have that link to my Twitch yet. 
yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't. Uh, I will try to find a way to put that on there. I will be putting the TikTok link on my YouTube here soon. Uh, so yeah, that is how to get to Mythic. That is all of your requirements. These are just all the weapons and stuff I have in my inventory. So, now that you've got the basics of how to get to a Mythic, here is how you can get some very easy upgrade material. There used to be a event some months ago that, if y'all remember, I opened up that box with the common soul stones. Oh, oh, I'm not dropping a TikTok dance. I, I don't dance. I do apologize. Uh, TikTok is more as story times and shit because apparently not that many people want to hear my stories on stream. So... We put those stories on TikTok. We're also going to be putting a lot of those on YouTube once I can figure out how to animate something because I want to make animated series for it, but I haven't gotten there yet because I don't know how to animate. <laughs> yeah, that's going to take some time. So anyways, here's some quick ways for you to just get some easy upgrade material. This little box right here, this is your daily login reward. This little box give you, gives you those rare dark soulstone chests. Those are the upgrades. Those will give you the upgrades, if I remember correctly. I've actually got some. No, I don't. I must have used them. I used them. I don't have any. Never mind. So I can't show you what they look like. But you can get one of these chests. You'll get two purifying water and rare dark soulstone chest every day, just from playing enough. If you go under the assassin release celebration and you're able to get this, Right here is a free legendary soulstone choice chest. You get those and then a brilliant purifying water chest. If I remember correctly, that might actually give you the blessed instead of the purifying. So you can upgrade to myth mythic. I think this is actually a mythic upgrade chest. Assi essentially, excuse me. You also get a bunch of other cool stuff. Um... Yeah, I maxed that out. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, but I did. Oh yeah, this also helps if you're doing the uh, Fal if you're trying to do the Falvinia upgrade in one day one. I really like this one as well. You get all these free stones. It, if you have any alts, you need to delete them and run through that again. I think in these there were a couple that you could actually that it gave you through these. Not there. So here at 78, you get these. You get these. Basically, you have to play a crap ton to even get these. Uh, subscription event. Yes, I have this. Uh, we're actually going to claim that and break that open. But you can get a couple here. And these, you just get going through the story. I mean, shoot, you can get to level 30 within the first hour, usually. Uh, you've also got these, but this is just character. That's right. So there's that. Uh, I think your level travel essentials will give you a few as well as you're going through them. I don't quite remember. Uh, you can also get them just you get regular let's go over here. You can get regular soul stones like anywhere. You can get commons almost any region area you, you fight in. I mean they're, they're all over the place. And if you're not careful, your entire inventory will fill up with them and like nothing else. I mean, look at this. Tolan Lagoon, the highest level area, 610,000 CP. Right there. You can also get a bunch of other really awesome stuff. But uh, those are very rare. So yeah, I mean, you can even get the Dark Soul Stone. You can get the Fine Dark Soul Stone. These help upgrade the Fine ones. These are the rare. I uh, don't think, no, you cannot get Epic ones here. And then you can just get a, a ton of soul stones. However, they added this really nice feature a little while back. If you don't want to farm for it and you have a ton of special upgrade material, you can craft them. You can send your companions out to gather this refined coral. I think this is in a Lunatra, if I remember correctly. And then you just get these from copper ore, iron ore, obsidian. 
just gathering those. And then you can craft whatever soul stone you want. Also, as you're going along, you can craft these chests if you get these uh, definitive soul stone crafting manuals. You can use two of them. Yeah, you can use two of them for one epic soul stone chest. We'll click on the chest. By the way, if you click over here, like in the writing, it will pop up with your crafting. If you want to actually see what the chest has, click the chest. Click the little avatar icon. Use to acquire one random epic soul stone. And this is an actual soul stone, not an upgrade material. This is a brilliant soul stone chest. Takes three instead of two, so it's a little more. But you also have a chance to get a legendary. I have never gotten a legendary from this chest. I've opened like five of them, I think. Something like that. And yes, I know for those of you that actually know what you're doing on this, I know I should not have used these crafting manuals at the time. I should have held on to them. So by the way, I know, especially if you're starting out, I know that when you have these manuals, or you're pro especially if you're free to play, you're probably going to think, I'm never going to have enough to buy this. I'm never going to have enough to get all these nice things. I'm never going to have enough that i actually be able to get this stuff. Guys, like two months ago, I had used up the rest of my crafting manuals, I think, in one of these, hoping for a legendary. I haven't done that much, and I ha I've only bought, like, one chest that gave me, like, ten of these. And, I mean, I'm at 29. You will get them. You will get them. Just keep playing. You don't need to buy them. Hold on to them. Trust me, there are better ways to upgrade your stuff than spending those crafting manuals on this epic or even this brilliant. If anything, wait till you get to 10. Make sure you get this legendary. It's a choice one nonetheless. It's not even a random. You can actually choose and acquire whichever legendary you're missing to finish out a legendary uh, full set of soul stones. So hold on to those manuals. Don't get rid of them. Hold on to them. You will get more, especially if you're playing actively. Down here is your Mythic Soulstone Choice Chest. Freaking awesome. I can't wait till I get the other three. As you can see, I'm at 7 out of 10. Once I get 10, I can get one of these bad boys and get another Mythic. So, hold on to your manuals. Hold on to them. Here, you can actually craft Blessed Purifying Waters. So that's pretty nice. But you need 10 of these suckers. I don't have one, and I have farmed for them. Maybe my RNG just hates me. I don't know, but I don't. <laughs> I obviously don't have any. So, uh, I I would say your best bet is still to probably be buying these from the store, uh, or from the drops and stuff like for check-in rewards and all that. So that is the other way that you can get soul stones and uh, mythic is by getting these books. There we go. Getting these books and upgrading and everything. So that is another good way. Of course, the store. Let's see uh, if it'll quit freezing up on me. Here we go. This is, to me, one of the better packs. It kind of... I mean, it gives you 30 freaking Dark Soul Shards. That's to upgrade your uh, Mythic. Where is it? I think the one just... There was one that was on here that you could get five of those uh, Blessed Purifying Water for like $10. But I think they got rid of it. That's not it. I think they got rid of it. Another cheaper way of doing this is go to this VIP ticket exchange. This is for this event only. You can use three of these tickets for this Blessed Purifying Water. This is a guaranteed one, so that's very nice. Um, here we go. The cheapest way to get those Castle Golden VIP tickets is this one right here, Taladiska's Benediction. $5 each. I would actually suggest getting one or two of them anyway to get a whole bunch of Abyss ticket. Like For the price, I think this is actually one of the best deals right now. 
get 190 red gems. These gold scrolls, I mean, I've got 178 million gold now because of these gold scrolls. So if you want to get a whole lot of these blessed purifying waters and you just want some extra growth abilities, I'd run with this. I, I'd buy a couple of those. I think I bought four or five already. So those are very nice. Uh, yeah, so here's some more development stuff. This is all red gems. I wouldn't necessarily suggest spending stuff on that. Here's the Lavina shop, which they are actually about to get rid of this. So, uh, yeah, get rid of your Lavina coins. Uh, some packs, that's not what you want. These are nice. Uh, if you don't have any good metals, grab this sucker and upgrade those, by the way. Let's see, where is it? Oh, yes, here's some more upgrades. The legendary soulstone chest. Randomly, so you get a random legendary. So this will also help you to get to legendary. You can get these two chests for 1 million gold from the shop. It is not a guarantee that you're going to get a blessed purifying water. But there is a chance. You can get a shining or a blessed. Every week you can get two of these. So make sure you are buying those. And I think that's it for those right now. I thought there was another one of these that you can get. And make sure to buy these necklaces and use them on your potential. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the general shop. Here, this is the newest event, the Scholar's Paradise. You can get your skill books. You can also get this epic soulstone chest. You can get four of them. It's a count, so you can't get it on every character just per account. You can get a legendary soulstone chest. This is not an upgrade. This is the legendary soulstone itself. So that's really nice. Every, uh, you can get three of these shining purifying waters. So definitely take care, take advantage of this shop. Uh, that's right. You can't get any from the Tatapi. If you have Red Wave, if you have a bunch of Red Wave coins, I have 4,700. You can, this is a weekly account limit, as it says right here, you can get five of these brilliant dark soul stone upgrade. This is upgrade. This is upgrade. You can get an epic or legendary upgrade. You can also get one, this is account wide, and it is a limit of one, legendary soul stone choice chest. So if you're missing a legendary, you can finish it out right here. And then, of course, you can get three more sh uh, shining water weekly. Um, if you do the brawl, but I mean, honestly, if you're chosen, chosen for the brawl, you probably won't really need very many more of these Blessed Purifying Waters. But if you do the brawl, you can get these. I am not high enough to get in the brawl. You have to be in the top 100. Uh, let's see. I think Mileage had a couple. Or maybe not. Nope. Mileage does not have any. So that's the main ways of getting them. One of the other great ways... Uh, free that they just give it to you is this check-in go through here you've got less purifying water you've got this soul stone upgrade you've got the purifying water again obviously I've maxed it out if you're just playing and you're going through I mean hopefully you'll be able to still get these this I mean this one was really nice so I really hope you can get all the way down to day 35 However, this is another area that usually you can get some upgrade material. So definitely keep an eye on that if you have not finished that out. But aside from that, there's not that many more ways to get uh, soul stones and stuff. Unfortunately, to get to Mythic right now is more of a pay to upgrade kind of thing. Unfortunately. Uh, I mean, I understand that they got to make money to keep the game going and everything, but unfortunately, you do have to pretty much pay to get to Mythic right now. Uh, unless you're very lucky. Or you hoard a lot. So, I hope that helps. If anyone has suggestions uh, or additions for a later video on this, please uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, especially on YouTube. I will be uploading this on YouTube today uh, for those that are watching the stream right now and those that uh, watch this video later on Twitch. So this will be on YouTube for y'all as well. If y'all would, please leave comments. 
uh, for future videos, whether it has to do with this or other things for V4, I'm slowly trying to put together a list for V4 on guides. So please let me know if y'all have anything specific that you want to see. Uh, and if I don't know how to do it, I will figure it out. Even if I can't exactly show you and I have to tell you, I will do my best to figure it out and make a guide for it. So thank you all very much for watching the stream. Uh, again, I apologize to everyone who was commenting and actually being active in my stream that I was and unknowingly uh, ignoring. I, oh, I still feel bad about that. I am sorry. However, I do greatly appreciate that you that y'all hung out and stayed. So, shout out to all of y'all. Uh, shout out to you, Captain Chap, uh, for following as well. And Truth, uh, I, I greatly appreciate it. And thank you, Cetro, <laughs> very much. My buddy, my friend, my, my longtime friend, ha having my back, <laughs> calling me, and, and pretty much letting me know that there there is uh, a issue that I was not paying attention to my stream and my viewers I yeah I greatly appreciate it yeah you the man you the man so that is that is it for this stream thank you all very much um, yeah I I greatly greatly appreciate your views and hopefully we can hopefully I can hit affiliate before too long I would love love to hit affiliate so y'all have been great y'all enjoy the video and you also enjoy it on uh, YouTube as well. And I will see y'all hopefully soon. I will be streaming most of today. So y'all just check in and see what I'm streaming next. Thank you much.